Hi guys, it's Blackie. Okay, continuing with this Time for Change series, let's talk about the next one. And we've got the haversack sort of ironed in. We've still got a few little details we've got to work out. But that's going to be a modular system of changing in and out due to what I'm doing today. What knife am I carrying? What job am I working on? What skill am I working on? That will interchange in and out of the haversack. Next step up. Now we're going to talk about the nap sack. Now this is my haversack that I've had for about a year now from Camp Craft. And it's the one that Jason created after we had talked about it. And you've seen these in my videos. So this is going to become my knapsack. Now let us define what is a knapsack. Well, you take a nap, right? Although the German knapsack meant something else. But what it means to me is this is going to be a minimum camping bag. In good weather, good conditions, I want a comfortable camping kit to go with this. I want a better hammock, a better tarp, a better sleeping bag or some sort of cover for the right conditions. I need to be able to carry a little bit of food, etc. So this has got to be a somewhere between 48 hour to 72 hour pack. See, it's got to handle a weekend and maybe a three day out of that pack. Now that's not a lot of size. So we've got to make our gear be focused to what we're wanting to accomplish. Okay? So having said that, Let's look at what do we really need in a knapsack, okay? I want, I always start with my bedroom, so to speak, and I work my way out to the campfire. Because when I'm laying out my gear, that's where I'm gonna start, because I wanna be comfortable. So number one, what am I going, when am I going to be doing this? Well, it'll be during those six, seven, eight months of the year in South Alabama, when it's not cold at night, where the lows are in the high, high 60s or 70s, and there's sometimes in the dead of summer, the lows are in the mid 80s. I mean, the time during the day, it's like 102, and at night it drops about 15 degrees, so you're about 80 to 85 at night. So I need something that's going to be able to comfortably sleep. Well, that's gonna be a hammock, okay? I'm not gonna be a ground pounder anymore. So I need to pick out a hammock that will fit within this system and give me that. Two, I'm going to need a tarp big enough to give me a comfortable shelter that can be set up in several configurations, either as a lean-to or as an awning or as flying it or as a diamond, etc. So I need something versatile but light. Okay. Third. I'm going to need some form of food. I'm already carrying my cook set is gonna be on that water bottle. So that's my cook set. I can augment if I need to. Say I wanna cook something that's gonna require a little frying pan. I want the ability to carry a little small frying pan with me. And this bag has to do that job. Now, this bag is pretty roomy. I've already talked about how I can put an entire wooby up here in the top. And right now it's got a entire uh, U.S. Army poncho shelter system in it right now. My fire kit, this is the one that I've had over a year now from Stitch Gear. That will be staying no matter what. And a few other sundries are in here for fire kit. We'll do a dump later after we find this out. But that fire kit's going to be right there. So some part of my shelter system is going to be in here. That leaves just this main body. Okay. And right now I've got in it a bag of small sundries, some cordage, a bandana, a pair of gloves, and a Baco Laplander. That will be each part evaluated. Now underneath I've got the two straps to tie on the flap. And then I've got my two big anchor points right here where I could tie and suspend something else right here. Okay. As Socrates said, first let us define what we're going to discuss. So what we're discussing is a knapsack. 
This is a minimum camping kit. What weight? I want to be less than 10 pounds. Okay? It's doable. Now what gear do I have that will fill that role? And what gear do I have that I may need to acquire to better fill that role? Okay? It will not, like everything else, I'm modular. So it's not all going to be stuck into one bag. I'm going to have my water and cook set and all hanging over here on this. I'm going to have my chopping implement, my kukri or whatever hanging back here. Um, I'm going to be carrying my knife on my belt. There will be a backup knife in here of some kind, probably a small folder. In each of these steps, I need to address. Now, hats off to Dave Canterbury, because he's the one that really defined what a lot of the old woodsmen said. He came up with the, the 10 C's. And that's a way of thinking and defining what you need. What is your cutting tool? What is your cover element? What is your carrying or cook pot? What is your this? What is your, what's your candling device? These 10 C's are the innovation. That's the, that's the true brilliance there of now you've got something to do. Now I can plug into each one of them slots, see? So approaching it from that mindset and knowing that some of the gears are going in and change in and out due to whatever conditions. What knife, what cutting tool, well, that's going to be on me. It's not going to be in the bag. But shouldn't you have a backup? Yes, I should. So there will be some small backup in there. What would be the biggest I could take for this that I would really think I want to do? I wouldn't want to go over a 10 by 10 tarp. It will probably be sill nylon or one of the other ones I've already got that's small and light, although I prefer other material, but for the weight, okay, the weight, i got to go into this. My one-wind hammock, when I take the bug net off of it, it shrinks down small and would possibly fit in here. We'll have to explain, explore that, but that bug net would be necessary, definitely. Um... What about for right now, I've got a U.S. Army poncho up there on the top. What if I replace that with a Wooby or one of those Swagmans? Now, I've got the one wind, uh, they call it a uh, top blanket. But what it is, is basically like the Swagman. I've showed it in recent videos where it's a poncho liner with snaps so it becomes a quilt to go over you in a hammock. So that's multi-use and it's waterproof. So I could wear it as rain cover if I needed to. One. I could wear it also if I needed a little warmth because it snaps around you like an overcoat. Two, three, it snaps along the bottom edge to become like a quilt that I lay in a hammock and throw it over my feet and then drape it in around me like I normally do. It would fit the temperature rating and it's definitely light and would fit in this top flap. So that's something I need to explore. So now that we've got a definition, an idea of what we're about to do. Where are we going with this equipment? Now it's time to go plug in those 10 C's. What am I carrying in each slot? In the next video, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna lay out gear, we're gonna put it in and see how it fits. I may have to adjust. And that's the point of this whole series. Every so often, don't get complacent. Shake it up a little. Take your gear apart and really look at it. Is this a piece of gear for this given job? This fire kit, do I want it there? I love that fire kit. It's going to have to be something big to make me jump out of that fire kit. It really is because I love that fire kit for multiple reasons. Um, but if this tarp versus this tarp, pull your kit out and lay it out and be honest with yourself. A, do I ever use it? B, have I got something lighter or better? I'll carry heavier if it gives me more options. Maybe I can't get what I'm looking for into a 10 pound bag. I may have to compromise and go up, but I won't know that until I take each one of these steps and really hardcore look at it because when I came up with this bag set when I had it originally, I had done this. I was very happy with it, and now it's been well over a year, going on two years, I believe. 
time to look at it again. Please leave any questions or comments you have down there. A lot of you guys have brought up some really good points. Feel free to ask. Hey, how about this, Blackie, or how about this, or why not this, or why not that? Go ahead and throw it in the comments, because this is a learning experience for both of us. I'm passing on my experience to you, because I can tell you, I could probably put this pack set together in two hours. But I want you to see the process, because the process is equally as important as the actual doing. Being able to reason out the what and the where and the why and how these pieces fall in place. Because once you get them nailed in, they interlock and it's like a serious chain. With the haversack completely done and set up, it will only complement anything I do with this. When I'm not going to carry the haversack, I know all of those responsibilities are carried in this set. When I'm not carrying this and I'm going to the rucksack, I know all the responsibilities are carried. See what I'm saying? I don't have to carry redundant packs one on top of the other. I carry the pack for the job. And right now, the job is the knapsack, the 24 to 72 hour camping bag. Let's get started. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. Please leave any questions or comments. And until next time, I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.